How to sit in a hammock. Tutorial. Malt liquor video. Get yourself a hammock. Tie it to two trees. Straddle that hammock. Straddle that hammock like you love it. Dress, uh, pretty much wear what you're planning on wearing for several hours. I think it's going to get colder, so I've got the post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic robe on. Oh, I've got my dog tied up. Because once you're in your hammock, you don't want to get out. No, you don't. Oh, I just tied it. I didn't even test this yet. All right. Just the caboose. Okay. So here, here we are happily in our hammock. Let's look at our feet, shall we? Feet tell the story. That's a good view. And I saw on uh, Wiederstand's channel, uh, he ran a string, uh, well, a rope, a, a separate one, uh, across from that tree to tree, and then he hung things on the rope so you could slide it away from you slide another one up, slide it back. And I think if I was going to spend a huge amount of time in my hammock, one of those things that I'd be sliding around would be a pee bottle. I'd try to, I'd try to not get out even to pee. I'd pee in a bottle, is what I'm saying. Alright, uh, you're going to want some, uh, some malt liquor. Open that just a second. Birds are raiding the camp. I had dog food out earlier. Birds loved it. Oh, there was a woodpecker here earlier as well. Got the uh, the local paper. I love uh, when I go to a small town for a bit, uh, getting the local paper. Got a book. It's called Screwed. And, you know, I hope it's erotic, but I suspect it's uh, about uh, um, our economic times. Got uh, Dandelion R Wine by Ray Bradbury, which I thought this was a book of short stories. Maybe it is, but. Uh, Kind of glanced at it and uh, didn't look like it. Let's crack that malt liquor. Malt liquor cam. It's all foamed up because I had to. Uh, I had to hike it into the campsite. You might be saying to yourself, what, Earl, you you hike in such a way as to foam up the bottle? And I'm like, no. I seriously was lifting up one foot. And as I'd exhale, I'd very slowly move that foot forward. And then as I'd inhale, I'd lower my foot again, heel to toe, to my boot. It took me uh, 17 hours to make it to my campsite uh, in an effort not to foam up my malt liquor. And then I then I fell down. <sighs> fell down that little teeny hill right there, which is kind of a shame because I've been trying not to scuff up that moss, but uh, I think I scuffed it up. All right, well I think I think you got uh, the general idea. It's pretty complicated. Uh, it's hard to relax in a hammock. I mean, it feels really precarious. I mean, if, if you could fall on steady land, what might happen once you get up in a hammock? It's not for the faint of heart. It's for the brave. It's for the brave, folks. Read your Bibles. It's nothing but hammocks. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... There's that, uh... Those are the birds that have been visiting my campsite. Them and ravens. And I think a raven actually picked up a piece of Aquila's chicken, like one-fourth of a chicken, and flew off with it like it was nothing. That's one cool raven. He's like king of the ravens. He's like, I killed a chicken, and I ate three-quarters of it, plucked the feathers off this half, and then I thought I'd fly this over and eat it in front of you. Recognize. King of the ravens.
Oh man, I almost forgot. Okay, baseball cap. Some of you may like baseball caps. I could think of uh, four and a half good reasons to wear a baseball cap. And one of the reasons is uh, being in a hammock. Look, thunk. You just plop back. You know, if you're wearing your cowboy hat. Gosh, maybe, have I ever seen a cowboy in a hammock? I have not. Cowboys cannot get into hammocks. Yeah, you have to cowboy hat up. Then you have to sit stiff. Yeah. Yeah, that's when uh, baseball caps. Hammocks. Four and a half, uh, four and a half good reasons. They're not sensible headwear, as one of my Australian friends used to say. Not a sensible hat. Yeah, nothing to add. So I'm done. See you in the tubes.